Nature Jack. Ooh, it's time, baby. Oh my God, oh my God. Baby, it's the Nature Jack and let's go in WrestleMania. Welcome to WrestleMania. Well, everyone, yeah, sorry about that. A little excited, a little excited. It's WrestleMania week. Big week, Big D. What's going on, brother? Well, I've got one thing to say. Oh, yeah, baby. Pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> well, yes, uh, it's WrestleMania week uh, leading up to... Uh, the big event, the Showcase of the Immortals, Chad. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, man. Well, yeah, it's, the build-up, honestly, has stunk. It's going to be, like, I think, uh, you know, a lot of the card is going to be amazing. Some of the card is going to reek. Um, there hasn't so, been much build. No, uh, no. Any, and, yeah. Uh, um, so to speak. But, um, yeah, we could run down the card if you want. Sure. Quick, uh, there's sure. kind of... It's not announced what's going kind of night one, night two yet, other than some of the main ones. We'll start with the big one that's been announced for night one. John Cena versus Austin Theory for the U.S. title. Your thoughts, Chad? Um, well, I mean, again, uh, this is a great match on paper. Yes. Like, it's a make-it-or-break-it match for Austin. Um, <clears throat> I think he's going to go over, to be quite honest. I think, yeah. you know, Cena's back to do some, you know, Payback to the to the the junior generation of uh, yeah. professional wrestling, for sure. Um, but the only my biggest problem with this, and I think you're gonna hear this over and over again tonight, is the fact that there was no build up. Yeah, uh, again this week, Cena I wasn't even on Raw. <laughs> no, and you know we've seen Cena once. Uh, you know Austin Theory cut a promo from an empty uh, an empty stadium last night. Yeah. Um, so again, there's no face time between the two. And the last time that there was FaceTime, Cena and Barry him. Yeah. So, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. There's been there's been no build to it, so there's no nothing kind of really behind it that uh, you know there's no anticipation for it really. It's gonna be a good match. They're both good workers. Cena is probably gonna do the job for him and kind of pass the torch because Austin Theory's character, although a heel, it is very similar to. Cena's with like the jeans attire, the U.S. title. Yeah, he's like you know a junior I mean? senior. Yeah, junior senior Cena, so to speak. You know, Vince's boy kind of thing. So, yeah, um, it's gonna be good. It's just there's no build up behind it. So yeah, kind of so, yeah. So what can you do? So we'll lead into what could be next. Maybe the women's title, Bianca Belair and Oscar. Uh, your thoughts? So you go for it. Well, me? Okay, yeah. What do you think? Do you honestly think that it's going to cap the night off, or do you think it's going to be second to the tight time? No, no, you're, that's Charlotte Rhea. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oscar and Bianca. Oh, well, Oscar and um, Bianca. No, they're not going last, for sure. Um, I think Oscar's going to win. She's going to go over pretty easy. Uh, Bianca doesn't lose anything by dropping the title. She's still going to look strong. Um, and it's just Oscar's time, right? It's time to pass the title to uh, a new contender. So uh, yeah, I see Oscar winning. Oh yeah, no, definitely. That's a that's a for sure. And again, like you said, you know Bianca's not going to look any weaker. I mean, last week they had her like KOD Piper Niven. Like yeah, she was like nothing. So she's like going forward, Bianca Belair is going to be an amazing athlete regardless yeah uh i think her next uh her next deal though she should uh maybe uh go to the dark side yes and, i agree uh expand her, ca her character that way i think she'd make an excellent heel and, and she's and, good, and she's over, good at acting she is and she's overpowering as you know she's a, a big muscular woman so yeah i could see her dominating much like Rhea has yep um so then yeah we'll go into the the tag titles, uh, Kevin Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn versus the Usos. Um, it's got like we were discussing kind of before the episode where this is going to go on the card. It, it can't go night two because of the whole main event for the title, so it's going to go night one. But there's rumors that Charlotte and Rhea for the women's title is going to go last. So 
where do where do they put this in the cart? It's kind of a strange yeah. you know, conundrum. Yeah, and we want to know what you guys think as well. Uh, for me, again, if it doesn't highlight the show, unfortunately, it goes. It should right go. Oh no, no, definitely the way. And this has been the most built up storyline in the last yes. a couple of years, to be quite honest. For sure. Hundred um, percent, and the best storyline. Like it's been amazing. Yeah. So, see, for me, I would put it on last. It should and have it, no, no. It should, and then have Rhea and um, uh, Charlotte go to the match before. Yes. You know, because yeah. if it goes the other In way theory. around, um, the crowd's gonna it's, it's gonna crap all the, over. It. Oh no, for sure. And <laughs> like I said, not, and it's not gonna give Rhea the win and. The pop that she actually needs. The crowd's going to be exhausted after oh, for the sure. tag titles because, again, I think Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to win. If the women's title goes on after that, if I was there, I, I would probably leave. I'd be like, "All right, like that's yeah. that's it. Let's yeah. wrap her up. Like I can watch this match, you know, later." Blah blah blah. So yeah, it's going to be interesting where it falls on the card. But uh, I see Kevin Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn going over. I see that because that's kind of like the consolation prize for Sami Zayn not being in the, the heavyweight title. Yes, definitely. But again, I don't know. I think they, in the, in the weeks coming, we'll have more discussions on where this should go. But yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, Actually, when Sammy, we see where it's Sammy and Kevin, definitely Sammy deserved to, to main event nice one. Yeah. But again, the ladies, they also deserve that too because yeah. we just put in a lot of work this year. For sure. So it's a it's a double edged sword, unfortunately, and for the women, it's going to end up badly if you know again they they want it to be main fair. event before no and that, yeah as, all by all means it should be 50 /50. but right now it's you know it's about popularity and and storylines you know how the arc is going and this is peaking so yep again importance. Well, we'll lead right into the Charlotte Flair Rhea Ripley <clears throat> match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Again, rumors that it's going to go last. Um, I that's going to be a great match. They're both good workers. I see Rhea going over. Um, your thoughts? Yeah, she should, and she will. I think um, so. I honestly, it should be a guarantee. And if they're not going to do it as a main event, you need to have Rhea squash her. Yeah. Yes, and they can get away with that because of Charlotte Flair, how good she is. Totally, and, and they could bring somebody else into it, and it doesn't even have to be Charlotte's fault. Yes, yeah. right. I mean, she needs to arc again from the storyline somewhere else as well mm -hmm. uh, I don't see that I mean they may build up again with Charlotte and Rhea another time maybe you know work through through SummerSlam or Backlash it's a great way to get the title off Charlotte again just to have her win it back you know or maybe the Raw I, title whatever I get, exactly. to get her up to pass her dad for 16 times exactly and again. she can yeah. definitely go over to, to Raw and immediately yeah. get into something with Oscar yeah because they have history and it writes itself like yeah exactly you know so you know and i mean she did squash ronda rosie so right, right. sometimes you need to pay back the the people we'll lead into uh brock lesnar versus omas oh yeah it's gonna be two water heaters kind of boxing and dancing yeah so to speak <clears throat> and um, you know and through the rumor mill they've been talking about you know, Brock may be leaving for an extended time and coming back. Because, I mean, he is a special attraction. For sure. Yep. Um, he doesn't know, have to and, be there And Brock time. means bucks, right? Yep. So, you know, he doesn't mind doing business for the right price either. Um, I see him putting in a, an okay match. He's going to have to make Omos look amazing. Yeah, I think... Uh, Omos is a, a great guy, but... Oh, you know, he, you know him. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I mean, <laughs> a great worker. Yeah. Um, but he's just, he hasn't... He's not a main, main event level. Yeah, he's right? stalled in the mid card. Yeah, so, so this is a big win for him. Yeah, I see I see Lesnar giving Omos the rub kind of thing, but not without Lesnar giving his feats of strength. There should definitely be an F5. There should definitely be a moment where Lesnar slams him. Kind of. I want to say he's going to suplex him too. He's got to oh. take at least <laughs> one suplex. I know if, he can. Brock, Brock, <laughs> if he I can. Mean, <laughs> if anyone's strong enough, Brock is. Yes, for sure. But it'd be cool if they kind of did the, the spot of, like, Hogan and and Andre slam. Yeah. Kind of the same, 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 deal. same yes, way. definitely. And then Omos kicks out and then gives him the yeah. finish, his finisher and, you know, Lesnar definitely. takes the job. Yeah, so. Well, actually, I don't think he's going to win clean. I think we're going to see because yep. uh, 
Bobby Lashley is without a match now with right. Bray Wyatt. And so, he has history with both. So. And he, exactly. And yeah. I mean, if they want to really do a Brock and Bobby three somewhere down the lines, even next WrestleMania, yep. you yep. know, they can. Yeah. The option's there. And, you know, again, Bobby's not busy. No. No, he's and just. And they've been talking home. about reforming the hip hurt business, and this would be his perfect time to. The biggest impact to make a heel turn. Yes. So, yeah, leading into the women, Becky Lynch and Lita and Trish Stratus against Damage Control. Um, again, a match that should probably be on Raw, but... <laughs> or the pre-show. <laughs> or the pre-show, yeah. Yeah, I um, <clears throat> I love the fact that Lita and Trish are coming back. For, yeah, I like that but, too. But, um, you know, even with Lita getting the tag titles, I mean, they should have put Trish in there. Yes. Had them get the tag titles. Yes. Um, but again, you know, they're... They're only here for a certain amount of time. Right. They're taking up precious can you WrestleMania imagine, spots. Can you imagine the conversation that Trish Stratus had with Creative? Like, okay, we're going to bring you and Lita back, but we're going to give Lita the, the, oh, totally. the title, not yeah. you. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, and like, you know, they're going over. Yeah. I think Becky Lynch, Lita, and Trish are going to go over. I see there being some, some kind of swerve and they turn uh, Trish heel. Kind of set up something between her and Becky Lynch um, for further down the road. Makes definitely, so like it's a jealousy angle for yep. sure. Because yep. I mean, they are Lisa and, so, and Trish are definitely besties. So yeah, definitely. And Stratus is good at that, like jealous. <clears throat> oh, she angle is very. Thing. I mean, she did she did it so well before, right? Yeah. So and there's rumors that she's kind of she's sticking around, you know, like so. Well, I, I mean, and if she is, that's great. Yeah. Uh, it's you know, again, I got a part. A little bit of a hard time with some of the part timers, like even Cena coming back for this short time, and he's not putting in the work. Right. To not even showing up. On Raw. Well, and that's the thing is it it's it's different when people show up to to further the storyline, like Brock yeah. Lesnar. Yeah. He's showing up for a guy who's notoriously wasn't showing up before. He shows up a lot more. He even shows up more than Roman Reigns. He does. Yeah, he does. Like seriously. It's, so you know, it's crazy. kudos. Um, leading into honestly, I think this is going to be match of the weekend. Even uh, not the singer, the, the whole <laughs> mania card, but uh, Seth Rollins versus Logan Paul. Your thoughts there? Um, yeah, totally match of the night. Yeah, I think uh, match of the event could be. They're yeah, both so good, solid they, workers. There could be, but I mean, you know, the tag titles are going to be in that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But no, this is going to be a highlight, highlight of the night kind of match. Oh, yeah. I see Logan Paul doing some crazy stuff. I'm sure they're working on some huge spots. Oh, no, for sure. Right and, <laughs> and, 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 I mean, Seth's no stranger to danger, man. Like, no. You know, he was fight, he fought Riddle last year in the, the pit match. He's been in a bunch of steel cage matches. Yep. Something crazy is going to happen. It's going to be amazing. For sure, during that match. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really, I struggle with, like, who's going to win. Who do you pick, who do you pick to win? Um... I don't, honestly, it's it should be Seth going over. Yeah. Really, um, but Paul's he, lost a lot. You know, like, he, he has. He, he, he has. doesn't but get I any mean, big wins. He so. still gets paid. That's true. That's you true. know, and I mean, if Seth loses, then it's going to be you know, again a swerve. I yeah. I think there's going to be some other involvement if if Seth loses. Yeah. I do see that Seth going over clean though. Mm -hmm. That's my pick. Interesting. Okay.